What's going on, nation? How you feeling out there? Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you for, you know, becoming a part of the Craft Nation and all you guys following me on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, follow me. You know, the link's right here in the video. Um, shout out to my old subscribers. You guys know how I am. I love you guys. You know, without you guys, there's no me. You know, you guys motivate me to make these videos along with the jackass that do stupid shit like these idiots that decide to set a fucking dog on fire and burn him and kill him alive. First of all, what the fuck is your problem? You know, of course you guys didn't do it. I'm not talking to you, I'm just, you know, saying out loud. Why would you do something like that? There's nothing else that you could be doing? You know, it looked like it was in, you know, Arabia or, or Iraq or some shit like that. I mean, I don't know where they was at exactly, but it's other things you could be doing. Like trying to further your education, working a damn job, raising your kids, listening to your mom and dad if there was kids. I mean, to see that helpless dog go through that shit, that shit just pissed me off. Like, seriously, man, you know, where the fuck is our world coming to? You can't survive, you know, you can't live on this earth as a human or an animal. Anything's possible. You know, I'm just waiting to see some white people getting hung from trees and cross burning. And I'm not even talking about by black people. I'm talking about from other white people. You know what I'm saying? Because every day is something crazier going on. You know, first the Asian dude, helpless Asian dude, get his ass whooped by a bunch of idiots for no reason. Now you got these people over there, wherever they at, because they wasn't in the U.S., burning the damn dogs. Like, come on, man. That shit is just not cool at all. You know, I mean, animals have feelings too, believe it or not. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those type of guys who's like, you know what, I'll save a dog over a human, but I'm also not one of those type of guys that will hurt a dog or sit there and watch somebody hurt the dog and, you know, think it's entertaining. No, that's not entertaining at all. That's fucking sick, okay? You need to see a psychiatrist, you need to see a doctor, or somebody just might need to club your ass upside the head. You know, because you don't just go around doing no corrupt, crazy shit like that. Precious, poor animal. Like, for real. Like, I, I mean, I'm kind of like speechless now. You know, because it's like, I'm not even surprised anymore. You know, it's getting, it's to that point where I get a video now and it's like, what the fuck? You know, like, wow, that happened. You know what I'm saying? You know, usually you used to get some shock and shit like, holy shit! No, it's just like... Wow, somebody just set a dog on fire. Like, you kind of expecting some corrupt, crazy shit to happen. That's fucked up when you live in a world like that today. You know, you bastards who did that to that dog. You know what I hope? I hope two or three pit bulls corner you son of a bitches. I want you guys, I want, I want you to be by yourself. Corner your ass and just chew your ass alive. Yeah, that's what the pit bulls or whatever kind of vicious ass dog you got over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's a camo dog. Chew your ass a lie. Torture you. Because what you did to that animal was torture. Okay? You know, all you had to do was give it up for adoption or just let it run away. That dog was not trying to hurt no fucking body at all. I'm about to get out of here and enjoy the rest of you guys' day. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for sending me these crazy ass videos. It gets me worked up. But at the same time, I'm here to voice my opinion. You know, and a lot of you guys seem to like that. So we're going to continue doing that. I'm gone. Deuces. Ah.